Welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will show you how the key influences visual in Power BI works, one of the most interesting tools for discovering what affects the metric you're analyzing. You'll learn how to identify the factors that have the biggest impact on your data, how to interpret the results, and how to use key influencers in practice. Let's get started. In the key influencers visual, we have the analyze field, where we indicate the measure to be analyzed. Then, explain by, where we provide explanations for the given measure using fields of our choice. And the expand by field, which allows us to deepen the analysis by including additional variables that may affect the result. Once all fields are included, an algorithm responsible for the analysis is triggered. The data is analyzed in two different modes, observing their behavior when the measure increases and when it decreases. Here, we can see two tabs. Key influencers, an overview of our data where we can discover the main causes of the measure's increase or decrease, and top segments, which shows groupings of different, correlated indicators. To present a practical example of using the key influencers visual, we'll analyze weather history and the average number of days with snow in a given country. We can analyze this in two aspects, an increasing or decreasing trend. When the country value was Russia, the average number of snow days was 14.17 units higher compared to other countries. This influencer covers approximately 48% of the data. Let's switch the analysis mode to decrease. In this case, if the country is Japan, the historical average number of snow days decreases by 11.66. Additionally, we can observe a drop in snow days between the 4th and 10th month compared to the rest of the year. There's also a comparison of snowy days when the country is Germany. We can expand the existing data using the expand by field. For example, let's add wind speed. This way, our data has been expanded and four additional key influencers appeared. Quarter is one or less, month number is three or less, year is 2012 to 2013, month number is more than 11. Besides the text information on the left, we can also see a chart on the right. The relevant data is indicated by bubbles with numerical values highlighted in blue. To change which data the chart refers to, simply click on the desired bubble. Below the chart, there is a checkbox that allows you to hide data with insignificant impact on the dataset, so that only the key influencers remain visible. In top segments, we see segments formed by grouping similar cases based on shared characteristics and assigned impact values. We can switch between views by choosing one of the axes, high or low. Here, we are dealing with two data axes. The first is represented by the bubble size. The second is based on the vertical positioning of the bubble. In this case, the bubble size is determined by the average of weather history days with snow, while the bubble's position is related to population count. When we click on a bubble representing a segment, we are taken to a detailed view. We can see the components that make up the segment. In this case, it is country equals Russia, quarter less than or equal to 1, and year less than or equal to 2013 or greater than or equal to 2020. In the Format tab, we have the Analysis section. Here, we can choose the type of analysis, continuous or categorical. The Key Influencers option refers to the left-hand tab. We can choose to show or hide it. The same applies to Top Segments. Counts allows us to enable the population size display. Thanks to this setting, we can analyze not only by impact, but also by the population size of the key influencers. Below there is also an option to customize the visualization colors. I hope you now know how to effectively use the key influencers visual in Power BI to quickly uncover the causes of changes in your data. If the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out our other Power BI content.